Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to pay my respects to the, uh, the First Peoples of this land and uh, their elders past and present. <laughs> this story is right, this story is true. I would not tell lies to you. With those words, Archie Roach introduced himself to us a quarter of a century ago, and he's kept telling truths ever since, hard truths. That song took the children away, told Archie's story, but it did more than that. It shone a light into a story that had been hidden for far too long in our country, a story that was not unfamiliar to us Indigenous people. It was the story of so many of us, the story of a woman like my great aunt who was taken from her family and raised in the Cootamundra girls' home in a dormitory under a sign that read, think white, act white, be white. Archie has kept telling those stories, the stories of the first peoples of this country, the stories of our lives, stories of tarpaulin musters to raise any small change you can for that first sip of wine to take away the pain. The stories of boxing tents and prison cells and rivers and mothers and love. He's asked hard questions of us. He's asked if Australia can be a better country. And in a country where Indigenous women are 30 times more likely to suffer domestic violence, he hasn't spared Aboriginal men either. As he sang, my brother don't hurt her anymore because she's sick and tired of walking into doors. Archie has sung about the beauty of our country, about men like Albert Namajira who painted the soul of this land, or Joseph Banks who came here and looked upon an Eden. He's spoken of the fragility of this country. Be careful where you walk on this land because a child was born here. Archie Roach was born here. I met Archie for the first time about 20 years ago. I was visiting my cousin, Bob McLeod, another musician on the south coast of New South Wales. Archie was there. We sat around the campfire, all trying to goad Archie into singing us a song. When he finally did, the warmth of that campfire could not have competed with the warmth of the soul of that man who brought down the stars from the sky. I spoke to Archie again recently. and We talked about, took the children away, and he said, you know, when I first wrote that, it was my story. Then I saw it as an Aboriginal story. And now he said, it's an Australian story. Let's have a look at the career of a man who has told our story. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> it's been it's been a journey just to get here. <laughs> but it's been a journey, a long journey, and uh, a hard road to get here tonight. But I do it all again. Because that's what makes uh, life so beautiful. Life so special. 
is uh, the things you go through uh, to get to where you want to be. It makes it all worthwhile. And um, I'd like to firstly thank um, the APRA board members for deeming me worthwhile to receive such a prestigious award as the Ted Albert Award. Thank you very much. I'd also like to thank, you know, uh, Mushroom Music, Mushroom Group of Companies, Mushroom Music, uh, Ian, James, uh, Michael, Michael Gudinski, uh, also Liberation, with Warren Costello, Dean McLaughlin, and, um, you know, uh, producer of my uh, last two albums, Craig Pilkington, as well. And there's so many, uh, you know, I don't want to forget anybody, but, you know, I'm just, just grateful, like I said, grateful to be here. And uh, what I've loved about tonight is to see everybody get up and the great, the great music and the great songs that I've been listening to. And uh, what's really great about tonight is when, I'd also like to thank, you know, Last but last, not, not least, my very special friend and uh, my manager, Jill Shelton. <laughs> who's, uh, who's stood by me these last couple of years when things uh, were a bit rough. And uh, after losing Ruby and getting sick. But um, I'm sorry, Julia, if I'm going too long. Um, but you know, this this is a great award. This is a, you know, um, I mean, what Ted Albert has done for Australian music. You know, he's a man who actually believed in our music, Australian music, and Australian artists and Australian songs and songwriters. And uh, he backed it up. So it's a really special award. This is it's a word I can't you know express how. Yeah, <laughs> just amazed. I, I feel I just it's to receive such an award. But like I said, um, you know, to get here, as I stated before, it was all you know everything I I went through. You know, Ted Albert believed in Australian music. I believe in Australian music, and uh, I love Australian music and Australian musicians. And when we're allowed, when APRA allows us to shine here tonight, you know the great thing about that is that we, when we in turn, when we shine, it allows the rest of the country and everybody else that has dreams and hopes and visions, it allows them to shine as well. Thank you.